know, how we love partnering with the American Cancer Society. But mm -hmm. you've got, obviously, for me personally, my own mother, my grandmother. You've got today, Coach Peters was referenced quite a bit mm -hmm. um, and his family and what he's meant to, you know, Northeast Ohio hoops and the state of Ohio and the different places he's been, the people he's impacted. And, you know, as staff, that's what we're trying to do. Um, so I, I just think it's a wonderful opportunity. To, we're always looking, you know how it is, early on in November, December, to draw attention to college basketball in the midst of all the chaos and all the different sports programming that's on different stations and different networks. And, and for us to have a chance to really draw our fans to something unique to Northeast Ohio and have that Northeast Ohio flavor, that opening weekend, and then at the same time, we're also able to raise awareness and funding for cancer research. I mean, it's a it's a win win. I mean, I, I just I don't see any downside to it at all. So we're you know excited about the event. I think it's a great event, and uh, we're looking forward to participating in it. How uh, how big is it to have so many first year coaches in it and to play such a? Uh, I mean, it's a quality game to be playing to start of the season. Quite frankly, sure. I think it's huge. I mean, it's great. Again, I mentioned, and some people referenced its recruiting uh, referenced its recruiting impact today. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, coaches versus cancer initiative, the uh, what it does for Northeast Ohio fans, what it does to promote college basketball in November at the beginning of the season. Again, a lot of win, 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 win when you talk about an event like this. And you're right, you're playing a quality opponent, so you're going to early on get a gauge of kind of where you are, uh, what you're able to accomplish through the preseason. Pre and see what the fruits of those labor look like. Uh, for us, we have a very unique non-conference schedule. We'll play in the 11th, and then we don't play again until the 18th, and then we don't play again until, I think, the 25th. So we've got, you know, really weeks uh, at a time there, including these scrimmages that we're playing, where we go scrimmage, one week, scrimmage, game, one week, to where we can really evaluate with a new team, a bunch of newcomers, a new staff, for us to have a chance to practice uh, during those blocks of time, I think our, our schedule couldn't be laid out any more perfectly in the non-conference.